I'll do a walk around of the skid steer if one of my subscribers wanted to see. There's the outside look. This is a L425. Back here is the business end with a four, cil four cylinder Wisconsin engine with 30 horsepower. One barrel carburetor. A uh, guy bought, bought it from told me if I wanted to buy if I needed to buy a distributor or whatever. 1950s was it Jeep or Buick is the same. There's my battery. <laughs> I know there's a little panel here. I can see my battery. Well, that makes it easier. And uh, it gets the job done. This is one of many hydraulic filters. Actually, one of two. Come look at this side of it. The engine does burn oil, but I just watch that oil and make sure it don't run out on it. I ran over my oil bucket. <laughs> I think it has a 50 inch bucket or it might be a 60 inch bucket. It's pretty big. I don't know, it might be 50 inch. But uh, we'll start it up and listen to it run a little bit. Yeah, climb in it like a monkey. This pedal controls the lateral movement of the bucket going up and down. And this one controls the... Um, uh, tilt of the bucket. I love the safety uh, chart. Do not do that. Or that. That's bad. Where's seatbelt? My seatbelt's kind of broken. It has emergency brake. I don't know if it works. But it's don't put your arm in front of the arm either. What you do is you flip this switch to get it to the start position. Then you push this button. Oops. Hey, my battery's not connected right. Before I close it up, I wanted to show you the hydraulics. That's one lever. That one. They do not leak, surprisingly. But anyway, I got the terminals on there right. Put the seat back in place. I'm really amazed how good this seat is. Gosh, no rips. It's, you know, this could be a 30-year-old machine. But let's turn around. There we go. Let's choke it. We're on half throttle. One more throttle. Hush. Come on. What's that?
And that's how it works, basically. And that's a walk around. As you can see, I actually got maybe four inch, nah, maybe two, three inches of dirt up each scrape. Probably because it's wet, we had rain. Otherwise, we couldn't do that. But I got a nice little pile of dirt right here. It's a, it's a good machine. I like it. I'm gonna get a tooth bucket. That's what I want to do. Actually, I'm gonna think about welding an angle iron to the bucket and see how that does. They have the weld on teeth, but they're expensive. They're sixteen dollars a pair, and I'm probably gonna need what seven of them. So, but um, I'm playing around with making attachments. I got some ideas for a backhoe attachment, stuff like that. But uh, it's a good machine.